Most of those levies were shot down on Tuesday's election night, but that isn't the case for the EMS services of Carbon County, who are looking forward to what the additional funds will do for them in the future. We are definitely anxious. As the polls closed Tuesday night, first responders in Carbon County were nervously waiting. We were uh, all checking the website uh, throughout the night last night to see what the results were. Waiting to see if a $1.2 million levy would pass. One aimed at tackling a big problem as EMS teams here and elsewhere are struggling to respond to calls, specifically in rural communities. With inflation and the cost of goods, um, it was definitely a concern. Red Lodge EMS Assistant Chief Torsten Prahl knew the funds were a big ask for Montanans, but fortunately it was passed with nearly 70% approval. We're ecstatic to say the least, um, but the money is going to help us keep doing what we're doing. But not all communities got so lucky. Between property taxes and inflation, it's a real hard time to be going to the public and asking them for money. Lee Banville is a political analysis at the University of Montana who has been closely tracking levies across the state over the past several elections. Most have failed. Montanans are, are kind of starting to chafe at what they see as maybe unfair taxes. A trend also not lost on Von Zanko. I mean, right now, asking anybody to spend more money on anything is a tough ask. Zanko is an economic developer in Baker. Voters in his county soundly defeated a levy Tuesday night that would have expanded child care in the county. The town of nearly 2,000 currently lacks one single licensed facility. On a day-to-day -day basis here, the struggles are just that simply parents can't work because it's, it's too expensive and there's not enough daycare available. Just to the south, the levy also failed to fund the hospital in Ekalaka. Only the second time that's happened in 30 years, yet another example of a levy defeated, leaving communities like these now scrambling for funding alternatives. That's probably the plan going forward right now, is just really focus on, on what we do have and, and, and do the best we can. In Fallon County, Charlie Kleps, MTN News.